The Maricopa County Board of Supervisors will not hand over any new election material to the state Senate. Uh, they had until 1 o'clock this afternoon to comply with subpoenas related to the ongoing audit. Our political reporter Mark Phillips shows us why board members said no. Minutes before the Senate's deadline, the Maricopa County Board of Supervisors and Dominion announced their intentions. No pass keys from Dominion, no routers from the county. Giving them the, the routers would seriously disrupt county operations, would jeopardize our security, and cost us millions of dollars. The auditors believe the routers could contain evidence of outside interference in the election. But county officials say two independent audits already showed the voting machines were never connected to the Internet. The pass keys the Senate wants go to 385 precinct tabulators, which the auditors had in their possession but return to the county. So it's unclear why the auditors would need them now. We have turned over everything. We have complied over and over again. We have not obstructed this. In a letter to the attorney for the state Senate, Dominion Voting Systems called the subpoena illegal and unenforceable. The company will not comply with it. When the county refused to hand over everything the Senate wanted back in January, Karen Fan tried and failed to get enough votes to hold supervisors in contempt. She has even less support now. This is simply political theater. Their effort is crumbling. The supervisors say it's time for the auditors to write a report and then defend it. Mark Phillips, ABC 15, Arizona. Senate President Karen Fan says their fight to get the material may not be over. A statement to ABC 15 reads, we are weighing our options for securing access to the routers and passwords. It's unfortunate the noncompliance by the county and Dominion continues to delay the results and breed distrust. Again, no judge or election official has found any evidence of widespread election fraud in Arizona or anywhere in the nation. For use with on-demand printers. So part of what we have been trying to get in addition to um, the ballots themselves is a chain of custody from the very beginning of the process when the county uh, took ballot stock and or preprinted ballots from their vendors and a chain of custody ever since then, uh, which is still forthcoming. That was on the original subpoena, yes. and we have not received it. Mm -hmm. so, Madam President, just if I may, um, Mr. Bennett, what's been the response when you've asked for that? When you, what, what did the what did what, what did the county tell you? Uh, they've provided us what they're going to provide us with. Okay. So, they're, are you saying they're refusing to give yeah. us that information at this point? Um, they. Every time I've tried to interact with the folks at the Elections Department, I've been told that I need to deal with uh, the county attorney's office. And most of that time, I've received kind of the answer that we gave you everything we're going to give you. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm trying not to be flippant, but yeah. that, that's... Can you lay out once and for all what you know about these routers? It sounds even crazy when I ask it, but I do want to ask it. What you even know about these routers and why and, and why you will not turn them over? Yeah, so here's the issue. This all comes down to the question of whether the machines used in November 2020 election were connected to the Internet, and they were not. We had two independent auditors come in. The Board of Supervisors voted for this, and they established that these machines were not connected to the internet. Furthermore, we have provided logs pursuant to these subpoenas from the Arizona State Senate that if the cyber ninjas knew what they were looking at, they would see that these logs establish that these machines were never connected to the internet. But they continue to push forward asking for their routers. Just so your viewers understand, the reason that we're not turning over these routers is because they basically would provide a blueprint if they got into the wrong hands of the information systems at Maricopa County. Now, why is that an issue? Well, we have a lot of personal information of our citizens on that information, on that, on those routers. But more than that, actually, if uh, this got into the wrong hands, it would provide information on sensitive law enforcement activities law enforcement personnel that could put these operations at risk. And it's not just Maricopa County because we share these databases with law enforcement across the state. So this could literally threaten sensitive law enforcement activities 
across the state of Arizona if we were to turn these routers over.